Welcome back. I'm Joe Scarborough. Should state laws allow and even encourage parents to abandon their newborn babies in so-called safe houses that are located in police stations, churches, and firehouses? Our next guest bucked the trend sweeping 45 other states and said, not in my backyard. With me now, we've got the governor of Hawaii, Linda Legal, Lingle, who just vetoed safe haven legislation after concluding the law caused more problems than it solved. Governor, thank you so much for being with us tonight. And let me begin by playing devil's advocate and ask you a question I'm sure you heard throughout this entire debate. Is it better to have unwanted babies ending up at church steps than in dumpsters? Aloha, Joe. It's great to be with you. And that's exactly how I looked at this bill when it first came up to me from the legislature. But when you looked a little bit beneath the surface on those states that had passed these kinds of laws, in fact, the number of abandoned babies went up. In the state of Texas, during the first two years after their safe haven bill was passed, there were only five babies left at a hospital, and there were nearly 100 abandoned and left to die. And so it became clear on further research that really what this bill did is it made it okay for people to abandon their children. And we didn't want to send that kind of a message. Well, Governor, let's take a look across the country. 45 states right now allow newborn abandonment at hospitals, firehouses, and churches, with 13 states permitting not only a parent, but also a parent's agent to abandon their newborn child. Now, as a father of a newborn, it breaks my heart to hear some of these stories about how babies are left for dead and dumpsters are in public bathrooms. But, Governor, don't these laws help to normalize disgusting behavior? Well, Joe, it's clear for fathers uh, whose uh, the mother abandons a baby, a father may not even know they are a father. And the child, of course, never knows who their parents are, what their genealogy or their medical history is. So again, on balance, we just thought it was promoting the kind of behavior we wanted to stop. And the real emphasis should be on teaching young people not to become pregnant in the first place. And if they do, outline the uh, better options, such as adoption. Well, Governor, is there some middle ground between forcing parents to keep kids that they don't want and allowing them to dump their babies in a safe house? I mean, is adoption the only answer? Or is there, or is there some other uh, method that you could use in Hawaii and other states could pick up? Well, adoption is a great middle ground, Joe, because it allows parents who can't have children to adopt a baby, and it allows a, a young girl who's not able or doesn't want to care for her own child to make certain that that baby has a safe and a full life. So I see adoption as a terrific middle ground. Now, Timothy Jacquard, who heads up safe haven programs in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, has seen a number of abandonments drop drastically. He says since the programs began 11 years ago, and this is what he said, I want you to respond. The programs we helped set up in many states have reduced the number of abandonments dramatically. If a program set up to give a birth mother a way to be informed of all her options, including relinquishment under the law, it will work. Now, Governor, let me ask you. I mean, I know this is a tough issue, but here's a tough political question that I know your aides had to be telling you you had to consider. Don't you risk taking the blame politically the next time we read about a newborn dying in Hawaii after being well, abandoned? Well, without my aides telling me, Joe, that was certainly something that was on my mind. You know, it's very easy to talk about these issues in theoretical terms, but when it comes to real life and death situations, the burden does rest with me. But that's what a leader does. You have to weigh the options and do what you think is right. And in this case, I had the advantage of knowing what the other 45 states had gone through. There had been a national research paper done on this by the premier adoption agency in the country. And it was pretty clear to me, after reviewing all the evidence, that this law would encourage abandonment and not curb it, especially in a state like Hawaii, where your genealogy and your roots are so important, this would strip from children any knowledge whatsoever of where they came from, and it would strip the rights of a father to know that he had a child at all. Well, Governor, as we wrap this up, let me ask you, if that's the case, why is, why is it sweeping the nation? Why have 45 states adopted the, this law that you vetoed? 
I think it's like a lot of other laws, Joe. They really have good intentions. And when I first looked at it, I thought the same thing. Well, gee, this sounds good. But like a lot of things, when you scratch a little bit beneath the surface, a lot of the unintended consequences show through. And that's what happened with me in this case. And I think other states will realize the same thing over time. All right. Thank you so much, Governor Linda Lingle. We appreciate you coming on our show tonight and appreciate your political courage. And if you want to know whether your state has passed baby dumping laws, you can check our website out at www.joe.msnbc.com.